And here to tell us more about the dangers presented by rocks of all sizes from space is an astrogeologist from the Museum of Natural History here in Berlin, Jörg Fritz. Thanks so much for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. Now, you've brought a piece of space rock from the collection at your museum. How much damage could a rock of this size do? Well, a rock of this size wouldn't do too much damage um, unless it um, just falls on your head or on your car. <laughs> but if you have it on your car, maybe uh, the price of your car would increase, actually. So <laughs> it would it's do some valuable, benefit. It's a valuable little rock. What, what else can you tell us about it? Um, there, there are different kinds of, of meteorites, I understand, with different makeups. Yeah, um, we have a broad collection of um, different um, asteroids um, which are in the asteroid belt. And this piece I brought is an iron meteorite. It's a core of an asteroid which had formerly been about 200 kilometer in diameter. And in order to get a piece of the center of this asteroid, you have to destroy it by um, great collisions and break this um, body into pieces. Yeah, meteorites have, have played a pretty decisive role in the development of life. A generally accepted theory is um, that the dinosaurs, for example, were wiped out by a huge meteor strike 65 million years ago. Is that the only such event in Earth's history? Yeah, so far the um, wipeout of the dinosaurs is the only event where we can definitely say that was the reason because um, the, the um, amount of evidence, you could put your finger on the geological record and that here is the asteroid impact and here is a um, mass extinction of the dinosaurs and all other species. There's a lot of um, mass extinction in the Earth record and we hadn't found any um, evidence so far that these are connected to um, cosmic projectiles. Now, there's also a theory that life may have been brought to Earth by um, a, a, a large rock from outer space. What more can you tell us about that? Well, in principle, if, for example, life would have been um, developed on, on Mars, then it would be possible that a piece of um, this um, um, planet would be thrown out into space by an asteroid impacting that. And we actually have Martian meteorites and there could be life inside. but. Um, at the moment, um, we don't know if there is life, but the, the, the um, ingredients to put together life, like the amino acids, um, they, they could develop in space and then be brought to Earth. Um, yeah, you've been out and about a lot. Have you ever actually found a meteorite yourself? Oh, unfortunately not. Um, I, I had um, found things which looked like meteorite, uh, meteor wrong so to say, but, <laughs> but unfortunately I didn't find a real one. Well, I mean, you will one day. Um, Hollywood, of course, has had a field day uh, with this topic. There are all sorts of movies about the destruction of the Earth uh, through an asteroid impact. How likely do you think it is that something like that will happen to us in the near future? Oh, we have a pretty good idea about um, the frequency of those impacts on Earth. And for example, events like the Tunguska event where a 100 meter asteroid impacted on the Earth's atmosphere and blow away a broad area of the trees, that could happen every 100 years. So most of the areas on Earth are like ocean or deserts, unpopulated ones, so it wouldn't do too much harm on that. But if it would strike a city like Berlin, then we had a wipeout on that. All right. Well, I'll have to run for cover then. Yeah, yeah. Fritz, thank you so much for joining us here today.